What's going on guys? Welcome to Mikey Balls Fishing. I have a really cool guest with me today who I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. But I've always told you in the past, like I really like to kind of highlight guys. I don't got a huge audience or anything like that or a big channel, but I like to bring guys out that, I don't know, they, they make their own path. Like I'm all for someone being stubborn, independent and trying to create something or, or I don't know, hedge on an opportunity. A lot of tournament guys, you guys met Jacob Wall, Tyler Wilcott, um, some of my buddies there. Like I like that. I like that independent spirit, you know? And I think you see it a lot in fishing because in a way we're all kind of stubborn anglers. We want to figure out that crazy pattern. We want to understand exactly what's going on. And that same thing applies to when it comes to making content and fishing videos and stuff like that. So the guy I got with me is Matt Woodard. Where what's can up? they find you? on TikTok, Instagram, and all that? Uh, my TikTok is matt.woodard, and then my uh, YouTube is Matt Woodard as well. Here's what I like about Matt. You know, there's a lot of, like, clickbaity kind of... I, I don't want to say annoying because there is, like, a place for it, but, like, Matt makes kind of like cool perspective videos on TikTok, and that's really what he's developed. Matt's a super nice dude, nice dude, and he's from Lakeland, dude, which is a little north of where I like to fish on all the deep lakes. So I reached out to Matt, I'm like, hey, dude, you want to come fish? <laughs> Matty, Matty! <laughs> Because everything is setting up right, dude. The water's warming up. Like, there's been a lot of, like, little guys swimming around. Like, I've seen them in the grass. So we're going to go bust some big easies, fish some grass, and see what we can do. We'll try to keep an open mind, maybe do a few other things. But it's really going to focus on sort of that pre-spawn, spawn kind of range. And I'm curious to see kind of, like, how Matt fishes and all that. Because, you know, since he's a famous TikToker, sometimes those guys suck. <laughs> I got busted balls, dude. But super nice kid. Check him out. It's Matt Woodard. He's on. You have YouTube too, right? Yeah, yeah. YouTube, Instagram. Go search him on YouTube, that. dude. But but support people that do unique, interesting, and innovative things, and that's what this kid does. So, without further ado, except for Bog, you guys got a little butt rub for Bog. You like? Oh, I know you like that butt rub. Should we go catch some fish, dude? Let's go catch some fish, guys. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, I'm a little guy, but I crunched it. Alright, gentlemen, I can't emphasize this enough. We're not supposed to find fish out here, but it turns out, you know, just like anything in fishing, What's happening is not what you expect to happen. That right there is a whole wad of post spawn fish. I was showing Matt, that's a giant. There's another giant right there. And then there's a bunch of little rat pullers right there. There's a tree with some shell mixed in. You can see I got it on my C-map on that waypoint. But these are kind of classic like post spawn areas, which is just weird because we haven't had good Florida spawning weather. So we're gonna turn around and uh, you ready to slang at these jokers a little bit? Oh yeah. <laughs> Matt's like, dude, turn the boat around. Turn the boat. <laughs> we're, we're gonna give these guys a try. Not gonna lie, it's about the last thing I thought we'd be doing. See that big? Don't do it. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, though. I don't know what I like down there, yeah, it start bumping on you in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another bite. That's a better one. Let's go up again. Not giant, I don't think. Oh yeah, that's a big one, dude. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ah, uh, whatever you want to do at this point. I got eight pound test. So it's going to be a minute. Here she comes. I think. Yeah, don't put a hook for your knee. There she is. <laughs> Come on, homie. <laughs> I got my boy Maddie grabbing fish. That's a fat joker. Dude, right that there. is a fat joker. Wow. Dude. Good golly. It's amazing how you think one thing's going to happen. And then you're like, eh, let's go try something. And then all of a sudden it's fishing 
at its finest dude we were fishing probably like a foot and a half of water all morning and i'm like dude let's go push out and let's just check some of the deeper stuff and two cast caught like a dink and then caught this guy which we're gonna get her back real quick because i oop that's my garbage can but basically i think this fish is post-spawn so usually they're pretty they're pretty tired it's like five and a half pounder look how fat she is but they're really tired and they're eating and they want to get back down so you got to kind of be nice with them work them down yeah she was super go back down honey there you go and that's what you want to see but you want to get them back pretty quick but it just goes to show you like be open-minded dude if there aren't fish in two feet of water try a little bit deeper what do you think bob what do you think this is good good bog fish yeah, it's, it's one that looked a little better but there's some little guys down there too I think I either got a fish or I hit the egg came off. <laughs> I got one too. A little delayed double up again. <laughs> Not the ones we're looking for. Man. Wow, I think mine's smaller than yours. I don't my little ones come off. Woo, 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 don't do that, don't wreck my net. I didn't even have to take mine off the hook. Hashtag winning. <laughs> Good no. This is what happened last time though, didn't we catch a little one and then we caught a bigger one? There's quite a few little ones down there because I just had two just plus a brim. I left it alone because my buddy. That might be a bigger one. Yeah, that's a bigger one. He's coming straight up. Dude. Oh my god, oh my god bro. So that's exactly, I caught an 11 8 like this. There was a mark on the graph, and I'm like, let me just bring it all the way to the boat. How are you so calm? Because like a seven pounder. Oh, here she comes again. These old men, old men up in the grass gonna come out here and be like, <laughs> uh, I don't know if she's gonna sound. Yeah, you just keep fishing though too, just in case. No, I got it, dude. I want you to catch a, a monster. Dude, when there, so I had this 11-8, let's do fish story with a fish on. I had 11-8, dude. Did the same thing, running a boat, and it just comes straight up. I'm like, I'm never gonna land this fish, dude. I landed that jerk, I didn't have the camera running or nothing. But dude did the same thing, saw the mark, and dude comes straight up and just freaks out. Uh, Alright, I think she's done now. Look out, folks. Look out. She's gonna be tired. That's a good one there, guys. That's yeah, that's probably six and a half, almost seven. Damn, that's that's freaking aren't they fat? Right, let's put her in a well for just a second here. I'm super confused. These fish should not be out here, dude. We just caught another like six and a half, seven pounder. 17 feet of water. These fish are literally supposed to be spawning. I don't know exactly what's happening, but it's one of those things where you start getting some signals that things are changing. And the other thing too is, so we got a bunch of guys in the grass. There's a boat there, there's another boat there, there's another boat down there, and they're all fishing the grass. And that's really where I thought the pattern would be. But sometimes you got to be like ahead of the game like if you're like one little step ahead all of a sudden you're catching the bigs and everybody else kind of left in the dust usually i'm the one left in the dust i'll be totally honest but i want to show you guys this fish and get her released because she is big and i assume she's post-spawn so i want to get her back asap dude but look at like isn't that crazy how fat dude they're just so fat but let's get her back because especially catching them on that spinning gear it makes them super tired so you got to kind of work them and they're stressed from spawning and stuff and like i always tell you guys what i really want to see this fish do is that because that's almost as cool as catching them i'm not going to be a dork and say that's cooler than catching them because it's not but it is good to see them swim out because you want to come back and catch them again when that fish is eight nine ten because they're fun right matt oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah matt was all fired up he's like oh <laughs> we gotta catch him a big though you seen think? that you seen that no She's still on her? You run at you? No, I just like picked it up and dropped it. it said, there's a bunch of little guys down there. I did see that on this one. But there was like, there's no doubt there's one big, big, and then there's. That's funny. He's on there. He's on there. The Running with the bigger one? I think it might be a bigger one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Maddie's hooked up, and it's a stud. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think I got one. I think I got one. <laughs> See how they do the light you up. <laughs> you don't need to go offshore fishing, bro. Just come out here. Isn't that crazy? Because it felt like a little dude. one ticking at it in that. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> 
We were in the No fucking way to close the deal, dude. <laughs> Let's see that thing, dude. Oh, and I'm down in the purple. Dude. Nicely done, homie. Ticked it and I pulled into it. I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I wanna show you guys, it's just tailing off real quick, but something that happens when you're doing this offshore fishing, so you'll see, we set up the boat back here, and there's a tree pile with some shell around it right up there, and there's a bunch of fish up there, but Matt just caught a, a pretty good one, and what can happen sometimes, and you guys on the TVA or any place where you fish like schools of fish know this, you'll catch one, and it's fighting, especially on spinning tackle where you can't like get them to the boat real quick, it's fighting, it's pulling, it's staying down there, it actually draws other fish with them when there's quite a few down there because they're all interested, they feel pretty safe because they're deeper, they're in deeper water, so they're all interested like, hey, Jim, what do you got going on down there? You know, like, can I have some to, it's that school kind of behavior, but you got to keep it in the back of your mind because it means sometimes that instead of throwing your bait that the 25, 30 foot out that you were doing to hit that target, you might actually just want to flick it out maybe 10, 15 feet. Like one of the bigger ones that I caught today was actually me being more towards like under the boat, like right next to the boat right here, because I had seen one swim under the boat on the graph and I'm like, hey, maybe I'll just kind of shake it right there and see if, uh, if I can catch her and I did. I'm gonna show you and Matt's actually got it on here. Why don't you swing that thing over for me real quick. I got the little Ned, and you'll notice, let me juggle it around, you'll notice that's the little Nichols Ned, uh, just like a little stick bait, like a fat ace or salt lick or something cut down. He's got the black and blue tip. I was running green pumpkin. The water's got a bunch of, you can see it's got a bunch of pollen in it, but we're both running spinning tackle, lighter line, eight pound, 10 pound fluorocarbon leaders. And I really think like these post-spawn fish, especially the first ones, the ones that come like in a few weeks and that, they're a little more active and they'll respond to, look at like, he's bow jangling, I'm dude. Trying he's trying to gun spot. it. <laughs> so, but the ones that come a little bit later, the water's usually a little warmer, so they're a little more active. You can throw a crankbait at them. You can get out that big spoon, you know, those first fish that get to the ledges. But I've really found that those early fish that get out on the bars, the brush piles and that, especially in Florida, they're very finicky. Like, they're super weird. We're throwing this net, and actually, Matt's doing it right now. I'll show you how he's kind of fishing it. Like he's barely moving it, like barely dragging it. That's a six ten. What is it? That's the KS two, right? Six ten medium. Yep. Six ten medium KS two. So it's it's a lighter spinning rod, especially for Florida. When you take that into consideration, it's a quarter ounce, approximately jig head. And the reason I'm running that nickels instead of the mag is because if you noticed in some of the chesty footage that you saw, like I'll be dragging. And like, I won't know that fish, that fish is there. Like I almost think like I'm hung up on the bottom or something like that. And having that little smaller hook in this situation, there's not really that much cover down there. For the most part, we're not fishing brush piles, but really with that lighter rod and that smaller style Ned, I can just kind of reel down and pull. And I'll be perfectly honest, I don't always pick up on bites. I'm kind of stupid with that sometimes. And it allows me to make it make a mistake. And as long as I have pressure on whatever weight's kind of like holding it, which i.e. is the fish, um, I can still get a decent hook set in it because it's it's like that smaller hook. But it's a great presentation for post spawn fish. The coolest part about it too is it's something you can do for spring fish as well. Like if you have staging fish, if you have fish moving in kind of pre-spawn, that net is really something for those first like three or four months of like early spring pre-spawn through mid to late spring when they get on the ledges post-spawn it's something that will catch them almost no matter where you are and it's a lot of fun to throw especially if you love finesse style techniques like catching big fish on a ned with a spinning rod how cool is it very very cool <laughs> almost my my box just turned a different color <laughs> oh, i got toilet paper for that bro. or socks you say you weren't wearing socks but it's a fun way to fish dude and sure. the nice part too anybody can do it i'd say me and matt are like fairly i don't want to call us novice anglers but we're you know we're pretty decent we know how to fish in that but literally you can take that setup and put it in anybody's hand your son your daughter your wife your girl uh, like whoever dude your little nephew and they can go out and they can slang and all they need to do is just drag it and reel or whatever they want to do with it and it's going to get bit it's a it's a great way to fish and it's a great way for everybody to fish that was a... <laughs> right under the boat <laughs> we'll be checking about 22 times. <laughs> oh, Matty, Matty got, got something big on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Drag, drag, drag. Watch your drag because she's going to bolt, dude. <laughs> Matty, Matty. <laughs> oh, 
she can run wherever she wants to run. There you go. <laughs> oh god, Maddie, look out! <laughs> get her, get her, get her! She barely hooked. <laughs> yes. Dude, that's a seven and a half eight. Look up. Fat that thing <laughs> is, dude. But hit the weights with this one, man. What the <laughs> Maddie, dab Let's that, baby. Go. Look at that bump. Come on, man. Leave that fish. <laughs> oh, dude. Holy crap. All right, let's go ahead and get big girl back. Went 7 1. Big girl mamas. Straight down. Woo! Let's go. That felt good. That was the first big fish in a while. Wow, slump buster. <laughs> That's a big deal out here. It sucks to fish in, but like when it blows, they fucking chew. And the harder it blows usually, the, the better they eat. Oh. You donk it? Come on, dude. He's on there. Solid one. Solid. It's a bite, dude. We haven't had one of those in a while. Yeah, oh, he's a little bit better. Damn, I taught you how to I'm fish a net, and now, and now you're killing me, dude. <laughs> How'd you find the one piece of grass that's out? They're so mean, dude. Got nowhere to go, boys. Uh, 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 yeah, that might be. Uh, might be a better one. Uh, huh? That is a better one. That's a giant, and of course I got a nick in my line. Yeah. All right, on the I got Here she comes. Oh God. We got them fired up, boys. I don't know that she didn't come up and now here she comes. Oh, oh god. Oh dude, dude, that's a giant. And he's about to lose his launch. Watch out, dude. It's gonna be a man, so if you want to toss yours on the well. Yes, boy. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Well, I was looking at you and then my, my rod loaded up and I'm like, well. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, she's gonna do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. She hooked pretty well. Oh my god. Oh god. All right, got her. Oh gosh. She wasn't coming off. She had the hook pretty darn good. Dude, look at that thing. That's a long joker, dude. We're kind of having a weird day. Me and Matt, Matt's like actually getting really good at fishing the net rig now. And I'm kind of like, I'm kind of, I was letting him kind of fish the net rig and then all of a sudden he started catching them all and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna pick that net rig up again, dude. But we, we've been rolling onto these bars and I really think they're post-spawn areas. And Matt just caught, what's yours, like three and a half, maybe yeah. almost four. He caught that one. We had made like four or five casts. We gotta get these fish out in a second yeah. here though. But we had made three or four casts and didn't get any bites. We're about to move and all of a sudden, Matt catches one. And then as I'm looking at Matt catch one, I get bit and we're gonna grab one and it's a big one. But you wanna get these uh, double ups released, dude? Yeah, let's get them all right, I'll let you grab yours first. Get to him. All right. There he is. Oh. Look at the mop, dude. That's such a long. Fit. I think yours could eat mine. Uh, dude, it's, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I want that fish. Is. All right, let's get him back. Make sure that was a long fight on a spinning rod. All right, honey. Let's oh make... Dude, the shoulders on these fish is insane. Oh, you ready to go? Yeah, you're ready to go. She needs a sign that says oversized load. <laughs> Should we call that video oversized load? <laughs> that was awesome. Dude. I think that puts us. I don't know, dude. What, what's the math? Like, let's say that fish is seven and a half, eight. It's like seven she's, fourteen. She's than the one I held yeah, up. that's true. <laughs> we'll, that, we'll call her eight, but that's like seven fourteen plus an eight. That's what is that? Twenty four, fourteen and eight. Twenty two. Twenty two plus a five. So that's 27 
Is that five fish or that? That's four fish. That's four fish. So yeah. plus, me we might have 30, dude. With five fish? That might be that might be a dirty 30. We're great at math, dude. You should see us, <laughs> yeah. Our finances, perfect. But but awesome. And like the least way I expected to catch them. Seriously, when I was on the phone with Matt like yesterday or the day before, I'm like, dude, come on down. He's like, well, what are we doing, dude? You know, I don't do much offshore fishing. I'm like, don't worry about it. It's straight up Florida fishing. Grab your easy, grab your, you know, your braid, your 50 pound braid. We're gonna be buzzing grass. And here we are in like 17 feet of water. <laughs> I got cotton mouth, dude. Bog is freaking. You freaking catching post spawn giants when I thought they'd be literally on a bed. Like, fishing is such a crazy process, man. All right, my homies, that's gonna be a wrap. Everybody, say, wow. Oh, by the way, do you guys see that? That's downward bog. If you guys are into yoga, you see back feet, you must be like triple jointed. Was a big boy once again. I gotta send a shout out. Thank you, Maddie, for coming down, dude. Appreciate I'm glad you, you uh, little dap real quick. Matty caught a big, he's been kind of a slump and I actually have been too. You guys saw that that massive like 40 pound bag plus the 13 pounder. But since then, it's been kind of a grind, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's been tough catching like solid fish, you know, five or six pounds. Like every once in a while I luck into like, you know, eight pounder or seven and a half on that. But catching like those three to fives, those three to fours that, that tell you kind of you're doing things right and you're figuring out the pattern, just hasn't happened. But today it was awesome. We busted a dirty 30. When we did our, our estimate math, what was it like? 31, 31, 31 32. So that always feels like feels good. But the weirdest thing about today, I think there's two things. One, it goes to show how versatile a net is. You know, we caught some pre-spawn fish on a net. You can catch pre-spawn fish on a net, shallow, deep, whatever. And these are post-spawn fish. I 100% guarantee you the bigs that we caught today are post-spawn fish. And guess what they bit? A net. Yeah. It's one of those techniques that maybe it'll, you know, after a couple of years or something, it'll go down the drain, but it's been out for a while. And if you really learn the kind of nuances of fishing it, it's something that will catch them anywhere in almost in any season uh, with, with some variance. But it's such a solid technique. The other thing that's so, I don't know, just a lesson to be taken away from today, and especially as you go into spring, you know, spring is one of the seasons that's so changing when it comes to fishing. Like there's so many things going on. Fish can be pre-spawn, fish can be staging, fish can be spawning fish can be post spawn like we found today and really kind of keeping your finger on what's happening on the lake because it can change so much from day to day literally dude these fish were staging and going to the beds four days ago and i'm sure there's still some that are spawning in that we caught a few like shallow up in the grass buzzing the easies and throwing like a stick bait to the holes but the majority of fish, or at least some of the big ones, are already out in this post-spawn mode. And we would have never known if we hadn't tried it. If we'd just been stubborn and stuck with that shallow deal, we'd have never gotten out here and busted a dirty 30. So it's one of those things, just keep in mind, fishing is such a fluid thing. The way the fish behave is Nice. Swing and a miss, boys. Hey. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Matty, you almost closed the video out for me. That would have been <laughs> awesome. But if fishing is a dynamic thing, and that's why we love it. You never know if you're going to catch them. Make sure to check Matt out. What's uh, Instagram and TikTok and all that? Instagram, Matt.Woodard. Or, no, excuse me. Matt Woodard on Instagram. Two Ds at the end. And then uh, my YouTube is Matt Woodard. It's plain dream. Go check this kid out. He made his own path. He puts out some awesome videos on bass fishing. And it's about bass fishing, which is something I enjoy. Make sure to support stuff that teaches you stuff. And just really... I don't know, like talk to you about the subjects that you want to hear. There's so much crap content out there that you got to help kind of YouTube, I don't know, sift the algorithm. But thank you guys for watching. I won't take up any more of your time. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Go check Matt out. Can you catch one more before we end this video? That's the brush pile, no, homie. The <laughs> Great way to end it. We're out. Mm -hmm.